Hello, my friends. My name is Amanda with Manda Panda Projects, and today I have a super adorable miniature teeny tiny little cutting board made with a napkin from my big pack of craftkins. Live last night over on Facebook, we made another one of these with a little chicky napkin. Today, we are using the colorful Easter egg napkin. So if you want to get the next round of the big pack of craftkins, which is my quarterly napkin subscription of 18 napkins sent right to you, make sure that you get on the wait list. You can comment craftkins c-r-a-f-t-k-i-n-s and it will send it to your messenger so i just took a little miniature cut cutting board i don't know if this was sent to me in happy mail or if it's from woodpeckers crafts but i know they have them at woodpeckers i just stained all the edges in the back of it with antique wax okay then i painted the top surface white that's how I prepared my little miniature cutting board here. Now for the little bunny, I wanted to match the Easter egg. I wanted to pull out that kind of salmon-y color. I just added a little bit of white to it to lighten it up a little bit and just painted the little mini Easter bunny um, all this coral salmon color. Those little mini bunnies are from Dollar Tree. Then I took my napkin, I just sized it as big as I needed it for the cutting board. I removed both of the plies and got it down to just that one ply. And then I'm gonna decoupage it to the top of the cutting board, okay? If you love these crafts and you guys want lots of cute, budget-friendly ideas, make sure that you are following the Manda Panda Projects page so that you see whatever I post next because I got lots of cute things coming for you. Um, all right, so once I got that napkin down there, I just smoothed it out with some parchment paper. You can use anything that's not gonna stick to the napkin. Just to smooth it out and then use your heat gun and press out all the wrinkles. Sand off all the edges. I use my little gator sander. And then I took some Kiehl's Dark Sealing Wax and I just grunged up all the little edges. I wanted to just give this a little bit of a grungy vibe, you know? So I went around the edges. I concentrated a little bit on the corners and made those a little darker. I grunged up the little outer edge of this little bunny. I didn't do a ton, just a little bit, because I'm using some coffee stained fabric for the bow. So I wanted to kind of it to all tie in together. Dirtied up his little pom-pom tail a little bit there. That's the same pom-pom that he came with. Uh, I, I, I toyed with making a cute little fabric Tail, but he's so small I didn't think I'd even be able to all right so then I took some coordinating fabric from my stash we got Dollar Tree we got muslin I know this is pineapple but you can't tell once it's all said and done I just wanted that yellow color um some distressed book page and then look at that perfect match and then I'm gonna use my bodabra and make a little bow um I usually I left in a little bit more of the bow the bow making in the video. I know everybody's got a short attention span, you guys, and I want you to watch this whole thing through so I don't leave the entire bow because it's the same thing over and over, but I've gotten a few requests to do a bow dabber tutorial, so I'm gonna do that. But in the meantime, I slowed it down a little bit here. Um, you just loop them through. I did like a, a little bit different for this one. I did like figure eights, and I just looped each color like in an X formation, kind of like going around. So they're all spread out. Uh, and then on the top of it, I topped it off with some twine. I like the way that that twine looks on top of it. And then we're just gonna tie it off with some twine. Whatever you do, don't forget to put your twine in the bodabra first. I have made that mistake and it's a pain in the butt trying to get the twine through there to get your bow tied off. Okay, so once we got our bow all good and tied, just trim off the excess twine, glue it to the, I do it to the top left, kind of like, crooked and then I glue my bunny to the bottom right so it's off center just like I did last night with the little chicks in the leopard print egg if you missed that one um it depends on where you're watching but that live video was over on Facebook and then I just put a cute little twine bow on the bunny's ears some little flowers on top of the bow and I just love how this came out I still have another two of these cutting boards left so I'm gonna probably be making more things but in the meantime make sure that you share this video with a friend you guys let me know in the comments what do you think and what craftkin should I use next my goal is to use 10 of the 18 napkins so I hope that you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you for the next one thanks for watching